Hello everyone, in this video I am going to explain how to modify the content of the flag register through 8085 assembly language programming. But before that, first let us understand the concept behind it. So we know that in 8085 microprocessor, the flag register is an 8-bit register where the most significant bit is the sign bit and the next bit is the 0 bit then it is not defined and after that it is the auxiliary carry bit. And then after that it is not defined then it is your parity bit then next bit is not defined and the least significant bit is your carry bit now suppose i want to modify the flag register in such a way that the zero flag will be reset okay that means i want to make sure that after the program the zero flag will be equals to zero okay so for that what I will do, so simply I will perform AND operation, logical AND operation with a particular bit pattern equals to 10111111. So why I have chosen this bit pattern? Because I, we know that whenever we perform AND operation of a particular bit with 1, then that partic the condition of that particular bit will remain unchanged. Whereas when we perform AND operation of a particular bit with 0 then whatever may be the condition of that particular bit you know the result will be equals to 0. So if I uh, choose this particular bit pattern so what will happen the second most significant bit will be equals to 0 but the rest of the bits will remain as it is okay so let us see what is the hexadecimal equivalent of this bit pattern so this is b and this is f so the hexadecimal equivalent of this bit pattern is b f h okay so up to this point we know that we have to perform the and operation with a particular bit pattern suppose i want to modify auxiliary carry bit or i want to reset the auxiliary carry bit then what i could have done so i could have uh, chosen the bit pattern like 1 1 1 0 then 1 1 1 1 so like this i have to choose the bit pattern but here in this particular program i will only you know reset the zero flag and simultaneously also we can reset uh, two three bits so accordingly you have to choose the bit pattern the concept remains the same then the next question is how to access the flag register because we know that we cannot directly access the flag register in 8085 microprocessor but we can indirectly access it by using the program status word and what is a program status word it consists of the accumulator and the flag register and how to access this program status word in a program so i can access the program status word by uh, you know by the push and pop commands but before that we know that the push and pop commands are associated with stack so first i have to initialize the stack pointer in the program so let's write down the program So let us first initialize the stack pointer. So for that I will use the instruction LXI SP and in the operand part I can write down any 16 bit address which is available in the memory. So suppose I am using the memory location 20FFH. So after this instruction my stack will be initialized and the stack pointer will point to the location. 20FFH. Now I will write down the next instruction which is equals you know, which will be you know push PSW. So after writing this instruction what will happen the content of the accumulator and the flag register will be pushed into the stack. So after this instruction the stack will look like this. This location is 20FF, this is 20FE and this location is 20FD. Okay. So first 
uh, your accumulator content will be copied to the location 20FE and the flag registers content will be copied to location 20FD and after that the stack pointer will point to the location 20FD. Okay. Then after this two instruction what I need to do? I need to access this two, you know, this two contents in the stack. So I need to pop this two contents. So simply I will write down pop and here in the operand part you can write down any register pair may it be B, C, D or H, L. So suppose here I am using H, L register pair. So after writing down pop H, so what will happen? The content of 20 F, D that means um, the content, the topmost content in the stack will be copied to L register. So here indirectly we are copying the content of the flag and in the H register your accumulators content will be copied you know, which was there in the stack pointer. So this comes here and this goes to L register. Okay. So after this pop instruction the stack pointer will point to the location 20 ffh okay now what i need to do i need to perform the and operation of the bit pattern that we have you know derived earlier with the content of register l so for that what i will do i will move the content of l to the accumulator and we will i will perform and operation with bfh Okay, so after performing the AND operation of BFH with the accumulator's content uh, or we can say the accumulator indirectly contains the content of the flag register. So after performing the AND operation, uh, you know, with BF that is 1011 and 1111, the second bit of the accumulator will be reset or we can say the second most significant bit is reset and the re result is updated in the accumulator itself. Now I need to update that you know result of AND operation in L register. So for that I can write down MOV L comma A. So after this the result will be copied to the register L. Then after that I will push the content of HL register pair to the stack. So what will happen? So let us see, suppose this is your stack. Um, so uh, at this point, the stack pointer is pointing to 20FFH. Okay. So after the push operation, what will happen? The stack pointer will be decremented. and the content of register H is copied to the location 20FE or we can say the content of H or indirectly we can say the content of the accumulator is copied to the location 20FE and the content of register L is copied to the location 20FD or we can say indirectly the updated flag register. is copied to the location 20FT and now the stack pointer is pointing to the location 20FT. Then after that we have updated the stack but till now we have not updated the flag register. So how to update the flag register? We can simply write down pop PSW. So here what will happen? So after write down, writing down pop PSW the content in the location 20FD will be overwritten on the flag register and the content of 20FE will be overwritten on the accumulator. So we know that after uh, you know all this instruction the accumulator's content is not changed whereas the, con I mean, the content of the flag is changed which is overwritten on the flag register. Okay. So after writing down pop PSW, we have updated the flag register. 
or we can say we have in the flag register we have reset the 0th 0 bit okay or you can say we have reset the second most significant bit which represents the 0 flag and with this we have achieved our goal and we have reached to the end of the program so we can just write down halt to end the program so if you have any doubt regarding this um, you know video you can write down in the comment section and for more updates uh, you can subscribe my channel and uh, thank you everyone for watching my video